My family is from South Korea, but my parents decided to move to Canada around 18 years ago. Additionally, my parents shared many struggles that other immigrants experience, such as the loneliness of having no friends or family. However, they were prepared to start completely new and embrace their new identity as Korean Canadian immigrants. Now, that was a little backstory regarding my family's immigration, but how has it affected me? I'm practically a first generation immigrant. I was born in South Korea, but I spent less than a year in the country before I moved to Canada. As a result, while I'm labeled as a Korean Canadian, I actually have a really odd relationship with both countries and their culture. When the identity of my parents became a hybrid of both nations, I ended up inheriting that same identity. But it pertains to me in a different way than it does to my parents. Prior to moving to Kelowna, I lived in Calgary for around 10 years. The area that I lived in had a high population of Chinese Canadians and many other immigrants from different countries. Many of the people around me also inherited an identity that didn't truly really describe them, others more than some, so I never felt out of place, but my parents and I were always encouraged heavily to embrace our cultures. I didn't start questioning who I was until I went to South Korea at the end of grade 8 to visit my family. As a kid, I was told to take pride in being different, being Korean, and the identity of an immigrant was really pushed onto me by my teachers and peers. However, during my visit to South Korea, I realized the South Korean identity that I inherited was just a remnant of the past. I felt like a complete foreigner in the country that I was told was my own. I didn't understand any of the customs, the humor, I didn't like half the food. I could barely read Korean or even understand some of the things that were said to me. My identity and pride as a South Korean was just a byproduct of the blanket immigration narrative that was probably meant for encouraging diversity that I used as a kid to make myself different and special from others, from the other kids. My entire understanding of the country was based on the specific narratives that the Korean news, Korean TV shows, and K-pop decided to portray. Even though I knew more about the country than the average person, I definitely did not have a place in the South Korean society. Right after my trip, I came back to Canada and we moved to Kelowna. Once again, I was hit with another huge culture shock. How I was treated and viewed in Kelowna was completely different from Calgary and Korea. In Kelowna, most people didn't even assume I was Canadian. I would get mistaken for an exchange student since the only Asians in my high school were exchange students. People often referred to me as that Asian girl as if I didn't even grow up in Canada my whole life. In the case of Kelowna, I was recognized and identified as something I wasn't since the only Asian narratives that my high school classmates were exposed to were from exchange students. As a result, the Korean-Canadian label that I have has a different meaning depending on where I go. Depending on what kinds of narratives people are exposed to, they identify someone that is an Asian immigrant differently. From my experience, between Korea and Canada, I've been associated with a lot of contradicting identities, which makes me really confused as to who I am. I've learned that my Korean identity is extremely limited and practically based on stories, but I've also learned that in Canada, I'm not even identified as a Canadian in places like Kelowna. I'm treated as a foreigner in South Korea and Canada, so I don't really have any connections to either society compared to my parents who underwent a change as Koreans that gained the Korean-Canadian status later on as adults, I was raised as a Korean-Canadian my entire life. Um, migration changes people and my parents are an example of this, but the future generations that grow up without the depth and the history of both worlds inherit that unique hybrid identity of their migrated parents as a vague and undefined identity. My drawing is an expression of these ideas. On the left, I drew a forest to represent Canada because of the look of the Canadian wilderness in Alberta and BC is extremely unique, and much of my childhood was surrounded by these visuals. On the right, I drew South Korea as a fluffy fantasy land with pink clouds and colorful buildings because the country I know is a technologically advanced flashy land of K-pop and K-drama. 
Everything I know about South Korea is based on stories presented by the media, and I wanted to exaggerate how delusional and limited my understanding is. In the middle, there is a white floor that holds a murky reflection of both worlds that I used to represent my identity and its vagueness. The person in the middle is what other people think of me. There are yellow strands coming from Canada that wrap into the shape of the person to represent how I'm identified through Asian stereotypes. With all these elements, the drawing encounters the undefined aspect of my cultural identity.